hi everybody i was just letting you know i'm back yep here i am still sick still exhausted from my uh radiation the sick is just some kind of a sinus crud that's going around my poor dad's had it for like two weeks so i'm right behind him on that and i, I get to feeling better every day but then in the evenings i don't know if the rest of you do that or not but i just really if i'm sick you can bet that after about five o'clock in the evenings i'm miserable sick and that's where i am now so between that and just my exhaustion over the radiation, it has hit hard. And I only had three this week. I have all five days next week. So I'm really wondering how that's going to go. And uh, so anyway, but I'm back. I missed yesterday, but I'm going to try to keep up. And tomorrow I'm thinking I might get to go. I don't know if it's going to be a live or maybe a recording because I am going to be working with my granddaughter who is six. So I might want to do that where I can start over or edit out if it goes a little, who knows. And it, she might talk a lot or she might sit and stare at the camera because she's already asked me, what if I get camera shy? And I thought, girl, you're not shy. You might be shy for a minute and then you're going to, you know, come right around and be just normal. But we'll see. <laughs> she's hilarious. Anyway, so you might get to meet Veda tomorrow if she's not busy feeding the cows with her papa mark that's her favorite thing to do i can't remember what it was that he said today i'll have to remind him i'll have to ask him and write it down because she said something today that was so funny oh man i can't remember it if you hear noises over that way is poppy the bulldog and she's asleep believe it or not she's um if you can hear her, you'd be doubtful, but she's like, oh, and, oh, and then snorts and then snores and everything. And but it's interesting. It's not easy necessarily to sleep in here at night when she really gets to go on because I hope you can hear that. And that's nothing. If you can hear it, trust me, it's nothing compared to what she does when she's really sleeping. I mean, she snores like a very large man. Let's just put it that way. And I mean, it's in a rhythm and it goes on for hours. So anyway, tonight I'm just going to show y'all some shirts I got. You can see I have my little SPTV shirt. A friend of mine made it for me and she made me this hat. And I'm going to show you the others that she sent me. And I'm also, I've got her number linked in the part where it tells my, the description of my channel or whatever. I've got her information linked in there, but I'm also... I pulled it up on my other iPad. Oops, it's been around there. So, can you see that? I'm trying to look around it. But it's Purdy Things by Nicole. And it's Purdy, not pretty. Purdy. And Things, not Things. And then Nicole is with an A, not an I. But anyway, she's on Facebook. It's Purdy Things by Nicole. And I get all my t-shirts there. I mean, I have tons of breast cancer awareness shirts there. Now I have my SP shirts there and I'm going to show you some of them I got today. Well, I got them yesterday. Um, I'm going to show you today. And I mean, I've had her make stuff that's like for, I mean, had like quotes from um, different TV shows and stuff that I like in, in uh, some Beth Dutton quotes and just different things. I'm all the time having her make stuff. I've had her make I mean, she does things that have glitter on them and don't have glitter on them. I mean, I've never seen shirts as high quality as what I get from Nicole. And I tell her all the time I want the really, you know, the thin, soft ones because of how my skin is from the chemo and the radiation and everything. And she does good. She makes sure that she gets them that are big enough so that they're not tied up against my skin. They look better if they're a little more snug, but I can't wear them. So it don't matter how cute they look if I can't wear them just because the you know, anything up against my skin, just, it hurts all the time. And it's been that way with, with chemo and, and radiation. And I just, I can't handle it. So, but anyway, I'm going to scoot this back just a little bit and try to show you some of the shirts I got. And then I'm going to show you what I got. I got my very first happy mail y'all. And I, I have been smiling even in my sleep. I thought about it. I was dreaming about it in my sleep. You couldn't have made me happier and I'm not going to tell her name. But she is a friend to the channel and a friend to me and a friend to another friend of mine and just a wonderful person. And 
I'm going to just keep that to myself because she wants to remain anonymous. If she decides that she wants to come out and be like, it was me, then I will gladly do that because it has brought me. She said she wanted to bring me 15 minutes of joy where I didn't think about all the other stuff that I was going through, you know, with the radiation and everything. And let me tell you, 15 minutes, girl, I probably didn't stop like doing the like, oh, my God, kind of dance for 15 minutes. After that, there was still joy and still is. It's sitting here beside me. I left it sitting on the end of my bed last night. I was just so happy I didn't even put it up with the rest of my bags and stuff. And I, I've got several bags, but that one will be with me forever. And I just want you to know I appreciate it and I love you. So mwah, love you. Now, I'm going to show you these shirts. Again, I got this SPTV one and it says Zenu Cruise or Zenu. I'll get it right in a minute. Z News Crew on the back. So I'm kind of acting like, you know, I can't go to L.A. to be with Aaron and everybody and Oh no, Nora and everybody for the for the uh, pro the protests that they're doing this weekend. But I'm I'm sitting here in my house on my bed with my hat and my shirt, and I'm I'm there vicariously with them. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the rest of them, and it just kind of give you some ideas. And if you all want some shirts made, I know Nicole would be glad to help you out. And she's not expensive; she's just not. And I've had we had Team Susie shirts made for when I had chemo and everything. And I'm, if you want one of those, she'll gladly, I'm sure send you pictures of it. So you can decide if you want one and, and have them made. I, I see people, I see some of the people that wear them every once in a while and it just brings a smile to my heart and I still wear mine. And it, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, she just, oh, she's been a good friend for a lot of years. So anyway, I'm going to back this up just a little bit and show you the shirts that I got and then I'll move it forward again. I'm not good at this. So Anyway, yeah, we're going back up. I'm going to sit up in my seat a little bit. My bed's so soft that I just scratch down, and then it just, my shirt's so big, I look like a billboard in here, but I'm really, <laughs> I'm just here. Anyway, I tried to get like a range of different things, and this one <clears throat> at the time, and I got mine in a 3X, and, and they're large, as you can see. I wear an 18, and this is large, you know, on me, so you could kind of know, but she could kind of help you with that too, but I get all mine in a 3X, so they will be large, but I could probably easily wear a 2X, maybe even a 1X in some things, but I don't, I just don't like them snug. But anyway, I got this one, and it says, whoops, remember Lisa McPherson, and if you don't know who that is, do a little Google search. She was a Scientology member that uh, died while in their care they i think they might you might as well say they murdered her i mean they might not have have like uh you know they didn't shoot her or anything but she was in their care and they they didn't take care of her at all and they knew she was in a bad way it was reported by different members that were around her taking care of her and everything and they did nothing about it and then they took her to a hospital way far away instead of the one that was two minutes away and she died and it's a big long story and definitely worth checking into so please do and I know a lot of you probably do know what it is but some of you probably don't this one I really like tax the cult again my shirt or my hat you're in a cult tax the cult I love this one I think this one might be my favorite and it's so soft they're all so soft. It's, it's, I don't know. It, I just love it. And she tries to get me these, the, when she can anyway, she tries to get me the V-neck. Um, it kind of depends on what colors I want and what's available at the time. And I tell her it doesn't have to be V-neck, but if you can get it, then get it. So, but anyway, you can tell her what you want and she'll find it. And let's see what this one is. Oh, <laughs> now this one might be my favorite too. I don't know. The next one might be my favorite too. See where I'm going with this? But here we go. I can't afford to be a Scientologist. Can anybody afford to be a Scientologist unless you're Tom Cruise who... <sighs> Ugh, don't get me started. Do y'all see that crack up there? Earthquake. Popped my <sighs> trim loose. Yeah. Who says we don't have earthquakes in uh, Oklahoma, because we do a lot. 
anyway, now this one I got just because of Aaron. Aaron Smith Levin. Is that on his? Yeah. From growing up in Scientology. I just realized I've been mocking my reflective mind and I'm not going to do it anymore or anyway, something like that. But anyway, that's what Aaron says. We need to say, and we too can go clear. That's what you have to come to the conclusion of this one sentence and you can go clear. I just saved y'all hundreds of thousands of dollars and saved myself, you know, that's what I'm here for saving money. Even, even though it's costing Scientology money, y'all, I'll save money. You know, we all need one of these. We all need one of these. And if we ever do protest somewhere, we need to, to wear it even more than this, that, because, you know, if they see it and they read it, they're going to be like, are you freaking kicking my ass? I mean, seriously, can you imagine if you are a Scientologist and you've paid thousands of dollars and you've not yet went clear and then some you know, yay who on the street has a shirt that, that basically says, and, and you start thinking about it and you're thinking, well, damn, if I'd have just thought of that $500,000 ago or, you know, however much anyway, but that one might be my favorite. Now this one, I have this group on Facebook that, that this is the name of it. So if y'all haven't done that, you need to do that revoke Scientology's tax exemption. This is my goal with everything I've got in me because I really do feel like that when they lose their tax exemption, that will be like the, you know, they're like climbing or even if they're kind of like this right now, they lose their tax exemption. I think it's going to go like, you know, they're just going to like crash and burn and I can't wait. I want to be there. I want to be in on it. So one more thing I'm going to show you before I move my camera back over here. I was going to show you, first of all, let me show you her information again. I know it's kind of got a glare on it, but it's Purdy Things by Nicole. She's local to me and she's a dear friend. I love her to death. So if you want to drop her a line, join her, you know, friend her on Facebook, follow her, whatever you do on when it's a group. I can't remember, but, um, Anyway, she's great. Let her know I sent you. You don't get a discount and I don't get anything, but just, I mean, you know, it'd be fun to find out if like one person or 10 people or whatever, if, you know, if we all join together and buy t-shirts the same place. Now this is, I'm going to show you what I got in my happy mail. I started to say happy meal like McDonald's, but anyway, my happy mail, I've never got one before. I've, I've just started y'all. I've only been going like not even two weeks. And I got my first happy mail and I am just absolutely shocked. And if you don't know me, I'm a big coach girl. I love coach bags. I've got several, a bunch of them are piled up beside my bed because I'm getting ready to put them in. I've got some shelving that I'm going to put them in. And that's uh, my studio is going to be in my bedroom. And so I've got a pile of bags, probably 50 or 60, maybe more bags. Um, here there's still some that are packed away in the other room in the closet i've got those i've got all this stuff i've got to get my room cleaned up get my bags organized and everything and i just haven't felt like it but anyway so but i am a big coach girl but you can never have enough in my words in my mind and she sent me a coach bag still got the wrapper on the handles i'm gonna leave it on there I, I'll probably take it off because I'm thinking I might wear it tomorrow. We're thinking about going somewhere. My husband's got to go get some some uh, feed for the pony. He got, I think, um, feed for the cows today. And we get our chicken feed from Chewy's, and then but they didn't have the feed that he wanted for the for the pony. So we're gonna go. He's gonna go get that tomorrow. And I might actually pry myself out of this bed. I feel like I've slept enough now. I'm I'm finally starting to excuse me goodness I just drank a coke and I drink it entirely too fast but anyway I'm gonna try to go with it I've got a cute outfit that I bought from Lady Co um that Reese 
was was showing actually Abby had it on and I was just like, oh my God, that's adorable. And so I, I bought it and I've had it sitting out that I was going to wear it for a week and I haven't worn it yet because I was like, I don't want to wear it to radiation. All I do is drive over there, take my clothes off, put on a gown, lay in there and get radiation, put my clothes on, drive back home. I want to wear it someplace cute, you know, like where I can kind of look cute. So I'm going to make him take me somewhere tomorrow, maybe make him take me to lunch, get some cheese enchiladas or a, I want a burger. I've been wanting to go to Five Guys, but I don't know. Maybe not. I've also been wanting sushi, but he doesn't like sushi. So one day, I've got one day that my appointment, actually Monday, my appointment's late, a, a little bit later, like 8.30 instead of, or no, I think it's at 9.15 or something. And then my daughter's got an appointment. She's taken me and then she's got one after me. She's fine. She's not sick or anything. Well, she's got lupus, but it doesn't have anything to do with that. Just yearly gynecology. But anyway, after that, it would actually be lunchtime, and I might see if she wants to go have some sushi. And if so, this is going to be one happy mama because I haven't had it in a while. They didn't really want me to eat it, strangely, when I was having chemo. And I did eat it a couple of times, but only a couple of times. And uh, I don't know why they didn't want me to eat it, but I'm sure that has something to do with, you know, it being raw and stuff. But the stuff that I eat, I don't eat the raw stuff anyway. I'm a, I don't like the flavor. I'm not afraid of it. It doesn't bother me. I think it looks delicious and everything, but I just don't care for it. And the texture bothers me. I'm big on textures. I was adjusting my bracelets, y'all. I have an SP bracelet, too. Yeah. I ordered it from, uh, I think it was Claire, but, you know, through the whole deal with Mike Render and Mark and Claire and all them before that whole blew up. But, uh, I still wear it every day, but anyway, now I'm going to show you my happy meal or happy, see meal, happy meal, happy mail. And again, thank you to the angel that sent it to me. I love you. And, um, I hope we keep in touch. I really do. I hope we keep in touch. So anyway, she sent me this beautiful bag still has all the tags and everything on it. There's all the paperwork inside. It has, um, again, it's still wrapped up. It has the, the long handle. That I can put on it and make it a crossbody. And the outfit I'm wearing tomorrow is is a kind of a navy blue, but it's it's I'm wearing my um, tennis shoes that have kind of a rose gold color to it. And I think this is just going to be perfect with them. It's going to won't match my shoes exactly, but it's going to be close enough that I think that it'll all you know fit together. But isn't that adorable? See, here's the back. I love stripes and stuff too. And I'm so happy. I mean. This is not the kindest thing in the world. I'm just amazed that anybody would send me anything. But I showed it to my husband and I said, I really didn't order this. I mean, this really came from someone else. It was really a gift, which I've actually gotten gifts before just because of, you know, people that are following me, my friends on Facebook. I've got friends that send me cards and stuff. And I've even had another friend made me a blanket and sent it to me, a little quilt. And I took it to to chemo with me all the time. And I've had other things too. I've had lots of other little things, just socks and a lot of things. So he's starting to get used to it. But it was, I'm not gonna lie. It was the first time I got a coach bag in the mail that, that I didn't buy. So, or trade, you know, so I was pretty ecstatic and I'm just loving it. So I really do. I wish I need to figure out how to do a, a, a whatever that is, that little picture thumbnail and I could have it in the thumbnail, but if not, you know, I'll, I'll try to take a picture. I'll have my husband take a picture tomorrow. If I actually get dressed and put some makeup on and look like a, like an actual person instead of just a blob sitting up on my bed. <laughs> what a mess. But you know, I have just, I think, you know, Aaron said, um, talking about people wanting to start channels and stuff. He said, start bad. Well, honey, I have started bad. I am not like um, with my subscribers. I'm up to like 76 now. I can go live and I'm going to. But my brain has been just so bad about not working. And I'm afraid I'm just going to get on there and in a live, not be able to think about what I'm even trying to say or anything. And it just be a mess. And so I want to make sure that I've got notes, everything, whenever I go live. And uh, 
but I might do it in the next few days. My daughter was talking about going live with me to, you know, have me somebody that I could kind of interview or not necessarily interview, but ha- bounce a conversation off of. Plus then there's you all that I'd be able to bounce conversations off of, which I'm looking forward to. So I'm just really grateful, but I've got like 76, I think subscribers now when I get to a hundred, I'm going to um, do that giveaway and I'm thinking I might show you all what all's in the box that I'm going to give away and then do like the little deal to, you know, a little drawing or something. And I might have my granddaughter to actually um, draw the name out of a hat or a box or something. I'm thinking I might have her do it. It'd be cute. Give her something to do. So help me get to 100. Tell your friends. Get your husbands or wives to subscribe. You know, just whatever. If we can get to 100, I'd be thrilled. I mean, there's no big reward i've you know i have to get to like 500 and then a thousand or something plus a bunch of hours viewed and everything but you know like i said i'm not big on the numbers i do want to get them up a little bit you know it's fun every time i see that number go up a little bit but i know there's going to be at a point when i when i won't be able to just have conversations with you all like i do now and i still want to be able to do that as long as i can so just whatever we can do, but let's get those numbers up a little bit, if you don't mind. And again, you know, you can hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down deal and hit the little notifications bell, hit subscribe, all that stuff helps me. And every comment are, actually helps too. It helps the algorithm, Any anything that, you know, makes it where they put me out in front of people and like suggest me to people. That would be great because I know there's people just like us that just want to sit here and talk and, you know, have coffee, which you ought to see it. I'm already stacking up my coffee cups that I'm going to use whenever I actually do what it, what it looks like my station's supposed to be like and have coffee while we're discussing this stuff. And I showed you a couple I'd got in the mail and I got one from um, Maryland today. I was, you know, it's like uh, SP or never in SP or something like that. Oh, I'm just excited. I'm probably going to use that tomorrow. Just sit it in there by the coffee maker and like a little hint for my husband that, you know, you could make me a cup of coffee and come in there very nicely and wake me up and, you know, tell me, let's go have enchiladas or let's go have a burger or let's, I don't care. I don't even have to eat, but don't tell him that part because I don't have to eat now because I just had dinner. But tomorrow I might be hungry again. And we, I have to tell you this story one of these days about him promising me a meal and then not taking me. I have to tell these food stories before my before my channel gets big and then all the people come on there saying you're so fat all you do is worry about food you know but girl this girl likes to eat and I don't eat a lot I usually eat one meal a day and you wouldn't think that I ate as little as I do and and still be a size 18 and but I do I, I mean I don't eat much at all and I even had um one of those lap band surgeries and it didn't work. <clears throat> I lost some weight and then it just like quit working. It, it, I quit gain. I just quit losing weight, started gaining weight and everything. We figured out that it's, it's a, I have uh, Hashimoto's. So it's, it's because of that and some of the other problems that I have that have caused it, but <sighs> it's a mess. If I just quit being, you know, having Hashimoto's and stuff, maybe I could be thin, but I have lost about 70 pounds in the last year. I'm don't know how I'm doing it because I'm not trying and they've ran every test that they can to make sure that it's not because of the cancer and everything. And it's not, it's just that for some reason right now, my um, Hashimoto's and everything is working in reverse of what it normally does. And it's taking weight off instead of putting weight on. So we'll see. I hope it keeps working that way, at least for a while. I wouldn't mind losing another 70 pounds or so. But, you know, I'll, I will have to, we'll talk about food and stuff before all the the meanie heads come on here to tell me that I'm fat. And I'll have to be like, oh, really? Shocking. I Like, I don't look at myself in the mirror every day when I take a shower, brush my teeth. Now that I brush my hair again, that I'm getting hair. Trust me. I've told myself I'm fat more than anybody in the little comment section could ever do. But so far they haven't, but I'm waiting on it because that's why I didn't start a channel for a long time was I knew the haters were going to come out in full force and eventually they will. And I don't care. I really don't. I am going to try to just be like, eh, 
you know, go away, whatever, hoping that my softer, sweeter Susie stays visible and not the one that people didn't like very much there for a while when I was likely to just tell you to, you know, fuck off into the forever like Reese would do because that's probably still my softer, sweeter side of some of the things that I used to would say to people. But, you know, you can only push a girl so far and then they get mad. So we'll see. I guess I'll have to watch my mouth too if I ever get enough to get monetized because then I'll get demonetized real fast. But, oh well. But anyway, my granddaughter, Veta, is really wanting to, to do a show with me. And apparently she was trying to get her grandpa to bring her over today so that we could do a show together. But her grandpa let her know that I was asleep and had been for quite some time. I literally went to sleep early afternoon yesterday at my daughter's and woke up long enough to come home and crawled right back into bed, fell asleep, woke up a little bit to watch Chayun Smut's show for a little bit. I didn't even say for the whole thing. I stayed about an hour. Excuse me. That's a, Anyway, I stayed about an hour and um, fell asleep again, slept all night, all day, and got up around five o'clock this afternoon and starving to death and about to die of thirst. So anyway, I am, I'm trying, I'm going to get over this sleepy thing. I think it's just with the radiation and I think my body will slowly get used to the fight mode again. You know, it does that with chemo too. You you get so weak and tired and everything, especially, I think, my body anyway, towards the beginning of it. And then as you go along, your body kind of gets used to that you're fighting something. And so it, it kind of, um, you know, gives you a little bit of your strength back. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I'm hoping that's what this does, too, because if not, I've got a long ways ahead of me. I'm, I've done three treatments. I've got somewhere, probably 25 left to go, maybe 30, I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe 30, uh, between 25 and 30 treatments to go. I'm hoping over towards the 25 mark because that's what they're planning on. But I did get approved for the whole 33 in case I need it. And that, that's kind of to be determined as we go along. So um, anyway, I am going to try to do a, a video with my granddaughter maybe tomorrow. Um it might not be very long or it might be real long if she decides to talk. I don't know what we're going to talk about. I told her we're going to have to sit down and decide what we're going to talk about so that we kind of have like, you know, some idea where this is going. And so we're not just like looking at each other like, hello, talk. But that's not generally a problem with her. She usually has a lot to say. So anyway, I'm kind of excited about doing that. She's she's funny. And uh, I know she's she is a mess. She is a mess, and she wants to be a YouTuber. And she thinks it's cool that her grandma is a YouTuber. And and I was just like, bless her heart. I don't think she really has a concept of of what like I consider a real YouTuber. Like I consider people that have more, way more than me. I mean, I have, you know, I haven't even broke a hundred. But you know, I think of so many people like as youtubers and and not me but hey in my grandma's eye or in my granddaughter's eyes i am a youtuber so if that makes her even more proud of me than she normally is then all the better i don't care um, i'll take it she is a a sweet little thing i wish that i could hurry up and get up enough nerve and everything and go on live because i would love to be just talking to you all and uh because there's things I want to talk about. And then I think, well, I look stupid. Just me talking. And, and so I'm going to do some lives coming up. I've just got to get my nerve up and do it. I'm gonna, the first one will probably be with my daughter. And there may not even be anybody that's in the audience or whatever they call that. See, I don't even know what all this stuff is. Because it's not like I think of y'all as fans. You know, I, I think of you as friends. And my subscribers, for a technical term. But... Is it an audience? Is that what we are when we're watching somebody's lives? Because, or even videos? Because that's what I am. I mean, you know, I spend hours a day. I mean, even when I'm doing something else, I've got somebody's stream going on in the background. So, 
anyway, I don't know. If y'all know the right terms, let me know. But I did watch a really, really good video. It was Jenna Miscavige's first um, live. She's done videos with Aaron and she's, you know, done other things before, but this was her first live and she did such a good job. She talks so slow and precise and sweet. And I tell you, I read her book and it was my favorite out of all of them. She wasn't braggy like some people. She didn't bog us down with all the technical aspects of how great they are or were, whatever, like some. Um, I still have to read Liz Gales. I'm going to try to do that in the next few days. I honestly just haven't been reading, but I did read Jenna's a few days ago, and, and it was one of those that you didn't want to put down. It was just good. And then watching her live yesterday, it was like, it made me see that her book really was just like talking to her and her book had a real easy going vibe to it too. And, and so I thought, is she really like this? I mean, am I just reading it in a slow and comfortable, I don't mean slow in a bad way. I mean like relaxed. That's what I mean. Um, you know, I wondered if I was just reading it that way, but that's how she was in her life was just very comfortable and, and so well-spoken and she's just beautiful and my goodness if her and Aaron are together then more power to them I think they're both adorable if they're not then more power to them they're great friends I don't care whether they are or not kind of you know I'm a romantic I kind of hope they are because then that's sweet but if not they're still great friends and they're adorable and I love both of them and they couldn't be more different and yet more alike and it's it's awesome, but she's going to be one of my favorites. I think I'm going to really, I am really looking forward to her. And I saw her today. I was watching a few minutes of Aaron's live and I saw her with him and she was just tagging along being a gorgeous being. And I just sat there last yesterday when I was watching her and I thought, how could anybody be hateful to her? I mean, I think that a lot when I'm, you know, talking about, all the others that I like, like Nora and Liz and Liz and Serge and all, I mean, everybody, I mean, all of them, I don't know how they're mean to any of them. I don't know how they're mean to anyone, basically. But Jenna is just this little person and so sweet and kind. And I don't doubt she could be a little pill. And that cracks me up. The, you know, the back and forth from being sweet to being like, I'm going to kick your ass kind of thing. It's just so precious, but I don't know. I love it. I, I just wonder, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, with me wearing like this SP TV shirt and my, you know, you're in a cult and, and I'm talking about Jenna and everything. The ones that are here because of other things, I wonder if they're like, what? So if you are, let me take a moment and say, look up SP TV on YouTube, go to, Things like growing up in Scientology, life after Scientology, um, Oh No Nora, Liz Ferris, um, Liz Liz, Gail Gail. Gosh, there's just so many. Um, literally Serge, literally Michael. Um, can you tell I watch a lot of SPTV? But anyway, just watch some of their lives or recordings whatever they do they are amazing and and these are people that were in Scientology second generation Scientologists which means that they were born into it or their parents brought them into it they didn't join it on their own free will they were brought into it most of them have signed a billion year contract of which they're now <laughs> not honoring I guess boy I, I can't even imagine signing I, I told my husband when he agreed to not retire this year to not sign more than a year at a time so can you imagine signing a billion year contract and I know that it's you know a, in some ways it's a figurative thing like you know you're just like saying all, all, always and forever you know kind of deal but in some ways they mean a billion years because you know the way that they think is that we 
we come back lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't think it's true in the way that they think it is for sure. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of things that I just don't know. And what my belief system is, is one thing and what yours might be another. And I don't know that I'm right or that you're wrong or vice versa. And so I'm not going to point fingers at that, but I think that they're wrong. And I will speak out and say, I think the Scientology is wrong. So if you're here for the, for the halls or for the fashion stuff or the cancer stuff or whatever, we talk about all that. And sometimes I'm going to do shows that are nothing but cancer um, related or nothing but halls. And sometimes I'm going to do shows where I show you like the other night I did one where I, I did a little haul for Timu or Timu, but we call it Timu here in the South. So I'm just going to keep it Timu because I'll never get it right. I'll spend more time, you know, stepping on my own tongue, saying it wrong. If I, so it's just going to be Timu to me. So you can correct me in your mind. Every time you can go see Z it's Timu or whatever it is. I don't know, but Around here, it's Timu. Just like um, Sheen. We call it Sheen. And some people call it Sheen. And I'm sure there's a lot of other ways to pronounce it too. But if if you're on mine and I do a, a Sheen haul, I'm going to call it Sheen. And again, I don't know. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I'm in the South, y'all. And that's what we call it here. Or that's what everybody I know calls it. And so that's what, that's what I'm going to call it. So anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to my video watching. It is a big deal this weekend in LA. All, all my favorites, or just about all of them, are in LA. And I've slept for almost 24 hours. So now I probably got a good 24 hours of nothing but watching live streams and videos and whatever. But I'm just hoping nobody gets hurt, nobody gets arrested. <sighs> And if they do get arrested, I hope it's the ones that deserve to be arrested, like the ones that keep assaulting our little protesters. And I don't know what is crazy. It is just crazy. But is anybody else not trusting this little turn? Now, I don't know, but it's today and, it, and I might be way, way off today. It might be completely wrong. But the last two nights that I've watched the streams, the people doing the assaulting on our little squirrel squad mainly doa have actually gotten arrested and the squirrel squad didn't and for some reason i'm not trusting it the cops have been friendly they were chatty very polite i don't trust it i don't know what's going on and so that makes me nervous for tonight and I need to be watching it now, but I wanted to get this video up. So please um, go watch all that stuff live and you can catch this anytime. That's one good thing about doing a video is you can catch it up later and be just fine. I'm not talking about anything that's major except for, would you please go and like party things by Nicole on Facebook? Cause that's my friend and I love her and I don't have enough people to do the whole whatever that is where you can do merch online and when I do I'm probably going to look into it and see if I have to go with those with the one on there and if not I'm going to try to get Nicole to do it just because she has always been good to me and has always gotten me exactly what I wanted and everything and I'm just you know I'm one about pay back your friends stick with them so if I don't have to go with the the one that does everybody else's I'm probably not going to or if I do have to go with them, maybe y'all will already be with her because that's where I'm going to get my stuff. And I don't care if I don't make a dime off of it. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to make money off of it. I'd like for her to make some money off of it and uh, y'all to get good stuff. And I have washed and dried. I mean, I don't take, I don't take good care of my stuff. I throw it in the washing machine. In fact, if my husband does the laundry, he tends to throw my t-shirts in with whatever he throws in there and drives me nuts, but he does it. So we don't take like super good care of our stuff, but it goes through the washing machine. It goes through the dryer. I wear it. It might go through a swimming pool with chlorine and everything and I wear it and it just, I mean, I don't ever get the cracking and peeling and all that stuff. She does 
a phenomenal, phenomenal job. So she's my little plug for the, for the night. And I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to lay down here on my bed and drink a Coke. And not lay down, but, you know, I'm going to lay over and get lazy, get comfortable, get covered up, snuggled in, and drink me a Coke and watch some videos or some lives. And I will be with you all tomorrow. I'm hoping I'm going to have little Veta with me. And just have a great weekend. I hope it's beautiful weather where you're at. It's absolutely gorgeous here in Oklahoma. I'm loving it. I don't trust that either. I know we've got some bad weather that's got to come. It's too early. We always have something hit in March, which is right around the corner. So I love you all. I want to say again, thank you to my little happy mail friend. I love my bag. You have brought me so much joy. You have no idea. And not just because I got something and it doesn't matter what it was. It could have been a bookmark. You know, it could be anything, anything, a note, a card, um, it could be anything. I'm going to get a P.O. box so that if y'all want to send me a card or something that you can, because I've had five people ask me about sending me a card and I've been real funny. You know, they say, don't give your address out to everybody. And I did give it out to this person. I had our mutual friend do it, but it was a trust thing. We trust her. Uh, my friend knows her and trusts her. So we're going to do that, but I am going to get a P.O. box just because it makes it easy. Um, but you know, I'd like to send you all cards and stuff sometimes. And I send everybody, it, when it comes up Christmas time, everybody that I get an address for, I send a Christmas card to. And like not this past Christmas, but the one before, I painted all of our Christmas cards, hand painted. Everybody that got a Christmas card from me got a hand painted card. And last year I was sick as a dog. It was right at the worst of my chemo. And I thought, I can't do it. I I can't do it. I had, you know, I send out somewhere around a hundred at least Christmas cards. And I thought I can't paint a hundred pictures. I can't do it. And so, um, I took one, painted one and had copies of that made into, into Christmas cards. And I've got those. And, uh, anyway, so I, I don't know what I'm gonna do this next year. I think I'm gonna do that again. I think I'm gonna do the one card or maybe you know, maybe four or five and divide it up and, and somebody gets this one and somebody gets that one and on and on and on. But I've also got copies because the place that made them messed up and they sent me, I had asked for Christmas cards, fold, you know, folded cards and they sent me, um, postcards. So I have all of these, I mean, like a hundred or more. I think I got like 150 actually. Anyway, like, so I've got like over a hundred postcards so but they're it's a Christmas picture and I'll have to get one out and show you on one of my shows but anyway so I'm gonna I think for the people that I get their mailing address I'm gonna slip one of those in with the Christmas card so they will have that one plus whatever I do this year which I know that's a long ways off but when you're talking about doing as many as I'm doing I'm already thinking about it I'm already like taking down notes of what I do making little sketches of what I want to do and trying to figure it out but I really think I'm gonna stick with you know anywhere from two to 10 that I actually paint and then make copies of those and send them. And so it'd be a print of a original painting. <laughs> and I am going to get my, um, my painting page up and running because I've had a bunch of you ask about that. Um, you can send me messages on my messenger. It's Susie Thurman Oberholtz on Facebook. I love getting messages um, you can send me emails. I put my email on the description thing too. If you want to send me emails, that's absolutely fine. The only thing I'm not doing other than when I flash it on the screen on a dog tag, I'm not really handing out my phone number too much. Um, I might at some point to some of you, the more I get to know you, um, I do like getting text. I'm slow to text back. I'm really bad about not checking it. It's because until about a month ago, our phone service out here sucked. We live out in the country and we're right in a little valley of some sorts that we just, it's a dead zone and <clears throat> we didn't have a landline. We wanted to go with strictly cell phones and I actually had a Verizon phone and an AT&T phone, neither of which got good service here. 
but we got rid of our Verizon and we went with a, a AT&T, but it's like the 4G or 5G or whatever it is, the, whatever's the newest. We got that and uh, all of a sudden my phone works out here, but we've been years. I mean, we've been out here for 21 years, never had good service. So it, I have to remind myself, I have to remind myself to charge the phone much. Let's check it for texts and stuff. But so I do eventually get y'all's text or, or anything. If you, when I give out my number, if you do text me, I will eventually get them. Same with my email. I'm really bad about not checking it. Sometimes two or three days will go by. And, but I had several, I was so excited. I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe I am going to be a YouTuber at some point. I don't know. But anyway, I did have about 10 emails in my email box. And that's just Susie dot overholtz at yahoo.com um if you want to email me I, but i had about 10 10 or 11 i can't remember maybe nine somewhere between nine and 11 i'm i'm not for sure but it was somewhere right in there that i had emails today so i was pretty excited i had emails and texts today and messages on messenger so when you miss a, a day people start worrying and then that's the sweetest thing it just oh my god that's just what i wanted i wanted the connection with you all. I, I watch some of my other YouTubers and how they get to know their audience and it just, Oh boy, I'm going to cry. Um, wow. I'll get it together in a second. It warms my heart and I've already gotten to know some of you and I've gotten some to know some of you on other people's channel. And now you've moved on to mine too. And it, it's what I wanted. I've got some of the most dear friends in my, you know, my real life. And I love them. But the idea that people just online are just coming out of their way to speak to me. It's amazing. You know, it is just amazing. And I love you all. And I really am going to go this time. I'm telling you that's a Southern thing. If you don't believe it, just you'll see it on every one of my videos. I'll say goodbye probably 10 times before I actually say goodbye. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that too. And yet at the same time, it's like, it's a southern thing. I might as well just accept it. It's like saying y'all, which I fought like crazy. I grew up in California. I'm doing it again, aren't I? I grew up in California. And I when we moved here, I told my mom in my very most just, you know, huffy, full of herself, 14, 15 year old way. I said, well, I will never say y'all ever never mom's like that's fine it's not like you have to it's not an obligation to move to oklahoma and say y'all now in the moving truck on the way here we brought like you know a rider or whatever we had five of us in the front seat of that and my brother was younger than or is younger than me but he's now larger than me he's six four six five he's huge he's just not fat he's big cowboy but anyway, he uh, he has a little skinny butt at the time. He was like fourth or fifth grade, and he sat on my lap, and I was so pissed the whole trip. I wouldn't even hardly speak. Now, I did, whenever we would stop for food, I did, you know, come out of my being pissed off enough to tell him what I wanted to eat. But that was about the only time, or I would tell him to move his skinny ass off of my leg, you know, get it on one leg, and that leg go to sleep. And I'd be like, can you not sit on both legs at the same time, or switch legs, or, you know, whatever. But anyway... I don't even know what I was bringing that up for, but, oh, Southern things. But, oh, I was going to tell you, I remember the first time I said y'all, which was only like a month, maybe two months after I moved here. And I said y'all, and I stopped in the middle of the conversation. And I was like, oh, and I looked at my mom and I was like, oh my God, I said it. I, I literally cried. I took to my bed, y'all. I went to bed. And was just like having a little hissy fit in there in the bed. Because I had said y'all. And now. I don't know what the deal is. I have my friends that I've had since the third grade out in California. Hi if any of you are watching. I love you guys. But I've got friends that I've had since third grade. And they say y'all. And they've lived their entire lives in California. So I don't know why I thought nobody in California said y'all. But I never heard it. Now they do. It's just like you know all my. And I love them for it. But all my friends I've, I've always 
hung around with a lot of people that smoked pot and stuff. And I never did until literally just like, I don't know, three years ago or something. Whenever they got it where you could get a medical marijuana license in Oklahoma. But I never had. And a bunch of my friends did. And I never thought anything about it. And I was always... I'd be right around them when they were, and it wasn't that big a deal. And I mean, not all my friends did. They're, my friends are probably like going, uh, excuse me, we were friends and I never smoked pot either. And I, so I don't mean that everybody did, but I was around a lot of people that smoked pot. And, the, you know, they were some little hell raisers, some of them more than others. And now all of them on their, on their Facebook, it's all about church and about God and everything. And I'm just like, this is awesome. Not that it's, you know, not awesome if you don't have, I mean, I want everybody to believe in God, but I'm not going to like think bad of you if you don't. I'm just saying it is so strange. Like all my pot smoking friends from school now really don't. And I do. And I was always kind of, you know, a churchy kind of girl and a goody goody on some lines. Not all of it. i I did my share, but I was kind of a goody goody. And now all the little hellraisers are goody goodies. And I love it. I'm just like, oh my God. It's just like we are the same people. We're just in reverse of each other. And I'm still a goody goody. I don't really do anything wrong, but I can't I can't say I don't do anything. But you know, whatever. But anyway, I am going. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go watch Aaron and all the others. And I hope you are too. And if I see you in the chats. I'll say hi to you or you say hi to me and we will meet back here tomorrow. And I love you. Bye.